everyone! Today we will have our lesson number 15 and we will continue to work on our watercolor print. As I promised, I was going to talk about reducing and separating colors. But before that, I will answer to my subscribers' question. They ask how to create a repeat for multi-layer print. Obviously, we are not able to scan silk in multi-layers. So you are facing this task only when you are giving the print as a digital file, on CD or online. Of course, the easiest way is to flatten image before creating the repeat. But what if we need to keep several layers, for example, if the second layer is an embellishment? Imagine our print has a second layer, hibiscus flower, that we need to print in different technique maybe foil. In this situation, we need to follow all steps from lesson number 14, but for each layer separately. But in this case, you don't need to piece files together. Imagine we open this print as a digital file. We have two layers, main print and flower layer. Let's name them. Let's assign the same repeat size as we have in previous lesson, 24 inches. Make our favorite manipulation, select all crop. It's necessary because an artist who create original artwork may have some additional elements outside the canvas, so we are protecting ourselves by cutting them off. Now, close flower layer, go to print layer, then go to the same steps as in lesson number 14, filter other offset, check wrap around, keep horizontal offset zero, Vertical offset that the print age come in the middle. Please, this time write the number down. You will need them later. Duplicate layer two times. Go to the background layer and fill it with white. Then go to the first layer and select half of the print. Delete it. Then go to second layer. Go to select, inverse and click delete, deselect. Stay on second layer. Drag the second layer up. Now, close both print layers. Open flower layer and repeat everything you did for the print layer. Filter other offset, wrap around. Very important, offset numbers need to be the same as for print layer. If you are sure you haven't changed filter parameters, you can go to filters and you will see your recent filter in the first line of filter menu. Just click it and the program will apply the last used filter again. In your case, it will apply for your flower layer. Moreover, you can use shortcut Ctrl F. If you use Ctrl Alt F, you will see the last filter with its most recent parameters. Check the numbers you wrote down. See, they are the same. Duplicate layer, then go to the first layer and select half of the print. Delete it. Then go to second layer, go to select and verse and click delete. Deselect. Drag the second layer up with Ctrl Shift Hold. Close both flower layers, open print ones. Then go to image, canvas size. Type 24, our repeat size. Anchor, top in the middle, click OK. Proceed. Drag the second layer down to the end with Ctrl Shift Hold. Remember, we are dragging very carefully. On upper layer, change the opacity to 60-70%, click mask icon. And combining different art method, we are connecting both parts as we learned in our previous lesson number 14. And merge them. Now. Close new print layer, open both flower layers, and repeat everything from above. Drag the second flower layer down to the end with Ctrl-Shift-Hold. 
again very carefully. On upper layer, change the opacity to 60-70% and start to combine foil flowers. I think this layer is much easier. Opacity back to 100. Merge both layers. In the same way, you can do horizontal repeat. What if our original digital file has three, four, five layers? Is it easier to flatten them and then start to separate colors? Or it's easier to make a repeat for each layer separately? You can estimate your work time by yourself. In the case from above, I would recommend to work for each layer separately, because layers are totally different in technique. Print is watercolor, foil is two color flat design and so the technique of color separation will be different. What if you have several layers and you will decide to work on each of them separately? If there are any speed up methods? Sure. Method number one. When you duplicate each layer to create two parts for a pit, you can combine them in new group. See, we have print layer, duplicate it, make new group from layers, Name it as a print group and all your manipulation you make for repeats you make within this group. See, we are doing the same for all other layers. Just I recommend doing our option select all image crop for each group separately. Method number two. It's maybe more complicated, but eventually has less possibility for messing up. So I personally prefer this method. Go to File, Export, Layers to File. Find any destination you will remember. Choose Steve. Pay attention. If you have earlier Photoshop version, you need to go File, Script, Export. May take some time. Click OK. Now open all new files from the destination you've chosen. and create vertical and horizontal repeats for each of them separately. One by one. Just be very careful. Use our image crop function and remember, offset numbers for each files need to be the same.
Now, open the file which reflects very first layer from main print. Get to file represent second layer. With shift hold, drag this to the first file. You will have the second layer. Delete white area. Then go to third file. With shift hold, drag this on the top. So you can build new file with unlimited amount of layers. What is the main benefit of it? You can make color separation for each file slash layer separately and then combine them in one file, flatten image and then double up similar or alike colors. Let's start to do color separation for our two layers file. Go to File, Export, Layers to File. But instead of TIFF, let's try PNG format to keep transparency. Find destination. Click Run. Now open both files. Start with flower layer. It's the easiest one because it has flat colors, whereas print layer has watercolor design. Don't flatten. Go to image mode index and color. I can see three colors, yellow, blue and transparent. Because we assign transparent as an individual color, check the transparency box, choose local, selective. Type 3. Did or not. We can see the system separates colors perfectly. One more hint. What if your flower colors are not perfectly flat? For instance, they have a texture. Assume we'd like to keep two colors for yellow and two colors for blue. Let's try previous method. Image mode index the color. Two blue plus two yellow plus background, five. Type 5. Mm, doesn't work. Three colors for blue and only one for yellow. So we are going different way. Duplicate file. Put them side by side. Go to original file. Image mode index the color. Transparency check. Type 5. Choose custom. You will have an empty palette as we decided to create two yellow and two blue colors. Click Frost Color Swatch, go to Duplicate File and find the lightest yellow color. Then click on Second Swatch and click the darkest yellow color. Third Swatch, the lightest blue color. Fourth Swatch, the darkest blue color. Click OK. See, now we have textured flower layer with only four colors. After creating the repeat, it's ready to be put on the top of print layer. Now we can start to work on print file, which is the first layer of our artwork. We are creating vertical and horizontal repeat. Again, don't forget vertical and horizontal offset numbers need to be the same as for flower file. So now we need to index and separate colors for this layer. And, very important, combine both layers and make the file ready to be sent to the factory. And we will talk about this next time. Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't, and please don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.